what I wanted to talk about a new concept, um, the DCLs or the CCLs. Do we need those at this stage in the modern Olympiads? What is a DCL? Oh, a designated Caucasian lane. I mean, for example, when was the last time you actually saw a Caucasian running in that? And I'm not saying it's a good thing, a bad thing, right or wrong. I'm just saying the fact of the matter is that it's not getting in there. Is it time to start addressing that fact by getting a, a what is called a CCL, which is a compulsory Caucasian lane, mm. or what they're calling now? I think the modern equivalent is the DCL, the, the designated, designated Caucasian lane. Des mm. Let's talk of it. I mean, what's the point of having an Olympiads, an Olympics, where you only have the same athletes in every final? I mean, there's eight lanes, isn't there? Yeah. Why don't you have two lanes on the side? Mm. I'm not talking about your swimming or anything, I'm talking about your hundreds, your two hundreds, your four hundreds, um, a Caucasian lane there. I mean, how are these guys going to get any better if they don't actually get to compete with the best? Train. Well, that's the problem. Train is hard. That for... If you're good enough, you'll be there. No, well, Pat, 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 Pat. Uh, you can't just say that these guys, they could train forever, they're not going to get there. The problem is these guys now, these with these designated Caucasian lanes, you have two people, they learn how to run against these other black athletes and they their standards right. start to rise. Exactly. I mean, exactly. this is just, this it's like is the education system. Absolutely. If, if we don't put people upper class each year, they're going to stay at the same level. And research has shown that over the last hundred years, since the uh, Paris Olympics, which I think was 1972, uh, oh, 1900, 1900, 1900, 1900. You really are being serious. So, are you saying we should put a lane in for swimmers for uh, the black people? Along the 100 metre track? Yeah. No, I, think yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I think it's something that possibly needs to be discussed. You're opening a can of worms once we do this, because then you go, OK, we've got these two lanes, um, DCLs, OK? Mm -hmm. Where do you gauge it then? You know, mm -hmm. how, how Caucasian does the guy have to be? Because we know Albinos can't run. You know what I mean? So are you going to stick him in there, or does he get his own lane? So you've got black athletes who have got... Who, have, have who end up going the, in the Caucasian lane. Yes, mm. because of ancestry. I don't think we're at that stage yet, Jace. But mm. this is our problem, is where do we draw the line here? Do we have non-Asian uh, athletes in the uh, table tennis? Mm. Is there one spot reserved per, f per doubles contest for a Caucasian or black person inside a table tennis situation? Mm. Doubles? or Doubles, I think, only. Uh, we'd like to hear your thoughts on this. You got uh, any thoughts on DCLs or CCLs at the Olympics? Um, send it through to the address below. I would love to hear your feedback.